In this video, I'm going to show you how to install one Joomla extension to multiple Joomla sites all at once. And we'll talk about why you would want to do that. Brought to you by... Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too, and thanks for checking out this tutorial. Now, why would you want to install one extension to multiple Joomla sites at the same time? Well, first of all, there might be a new extension that you really, really like. You want to put it on all of your Joomla sites, and so you could just install it all at once instead of logging into each site and going through the install process. Uh, second of all, maybe you're using an extension that doesn't get updated through the Joomla update system. You don't get notifications. You use it on a lot of your, uh, a lot of your sites, and so you want to upload it all at once and update it across them all. Or maybe, as is the case in this tutorial, you're using an extension, something's happened and it won't update on Joomla, and instead of logging into all your sites, you're just going to upload it and fix it all at once. And that is the case with what's happening here today. So let's turn our attention to the computer and I'll show you what the problem is and how I'm going to fix it. Uploading one extension to multiple Joomla sites all at once. And as we turn our attention to the screen here, I just want to remind you that you can go to basicjoomla.com forward slash giveaways and enter in the monthly giveaway, give away some Joomla related prizes. One of them is a one year membership to manage one Joomla site on myjoomla.com or a one month membership to manage unlimited sites through myjoomla.com. And we're definitely going to be using that, uh, that account, uh, that tool in this uh, tutorial. All right, so uh, head on over there and enter. Um, now listen, uh, here's the problem. I'm in this site, 88keysbythesea.com. It's my wife's website. I often use it as a guinea pig in these tutorials. And when I search for updates, there are two here, admin tools from Akiba and Akiba Backup. So if I select both of those and then click update, there is a problem. And the problem pops up here. It says error connecting to the server 403. I don't know what the problem is. This usually works really well but it's not. And so I have the option, I could just manually upload the latest version of these two extensions. But the issue here for me is that I use Akiba uh, admin tools and Akiba backup on all of my Joomla sites. And I've updated it manually on some, but I just wanna do it all at once. It's a really great uh, extension. So um, what I'm going to do then is uh, update it all at once but first I have to download the extension to my computer so I can upload it later on. So I'm logged into my Akiba account here. Because I have a, a, a Pro a, a membership, I'm going to click here and download Akiba Backup Pro and save it into a folder on my computer. And that's gonna take just a second. All right, and then I'm gonna go down here to Admin Tools and download the Pro version as well. Now, once that is downloaded, taking a little while there. Let's give her another click. Got a lot of things happen on my computer when I capture the screen here, so it might be taking its time. There we go. I'll save that to my computer as well. Oh, and there's the second click. We'll ignore it. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do now is log into myjoomla.com, which I've already done in this tab. And you'll see that uh, of the 51 Joomla sites I'm managing right now on myjoomla.com, there are 66 upgrades and updates available, different extensions. And you'll see here's my wife's site, 88 Keys by the Sea, Akiba Backup, and Admin Tools. And this, so on, there's Akiba and Admin. Here's uh, only Akiba. So I have all of these sites that need to be updated. So the tool that I'm going to use to do that here on myjoomla.com is the mass package install right here. Now, before I do that, I want to quickly click on backups because whenever you're installing uh, in, um, extensions or components to Joomla, you want to make sure you have your site backed up. So if you're going to uh, upload an extension to multiple sites, make sure they're all backed up. Now, the nice thing here about myjoomla.com is that by clicking on backups, I can go here and check when these sites have last been backed up. I have one down here 12 days since it's been backed up and it was aired, but I know what's going on there. These other ones that are two days, they're good, a day, and all of these in the last 24 hours because I have them set up on a schedule. So that's great too. 
so then uh, so I'm happy with the backups I can then go to the mass package install now here we follow some steps here and as always in myjuma.com there's tons of excellent information here read everything through when you read it uh, when you're uh, using it you'll uh, learn some information and uh, you'll also be guided through the steps for instance this tool can upload extensions that can destroy your sites so we're assuming here that you're uploading an extension that you know will work on your sites that you've tested on at least one of them and that you understand all your other sites always back up we check that out so we could put the install package from URL in this field here, but I'm going to upload the package that I want to update to all of the different sites. And we just download, downloaded those. Choose file, and let's do the Akiba one. Package Akiba 6.3.0 Pro. I'll select that, click open, and then we're going to use this green button that says upload package to use. Once that step has been completed, once that upload has gone and it is almost there, the page will refresh. And now we want to go through and check all of the sites that we want to install that package to. Now, I'm not going to make you watch you do that. Uh, I have a list of them here on my notepad. So through the uh, power of the internet and editing, I'm going to clap my hands and all of these fields will be filled in for the sites that I want to update. And just like that, I've checked off all of the ones that I want to update. All the sites that I'm going to install this one extension to in one go. So we scroll down to the bottom here and click on Install Extension on Selected Sites. We will click that. And now we will have some updates here that we can watch while that is happening. It says we're currently working through your request to install the extensions to your sites. The process is below. So the free Joomla install site I have, package installed. Basic Joomla Helix 3, that's something that I use for tutorials, that's installed. And as we look down here, oh, there was an error on Firewise Consulting and Firewise Learning Academy. Okay, that sometimes happens on that side. I need to look into it. Here's more with green bars. Oh, and this one, that's a sandbox for that same site. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, that's a, a great list for me to know to follow up what I have to do manually. Uh, Tyndale Distributors is all green. Let's go up here and keep waiting for those updates. In fact, I probably don't want to stand around and watch these updates happen. So through the magic of clapping again, I'll just clap and this whole process will be over. And there you go. Now I've tried to update to 16 sites with that one extension. We saw that there's a couple that something's happening. I'm going to have to log into them. It's not a problem with my Joomla. It's a problem with those installs. But as we see here right now, there were 64 upgrades and updates available on all of my sites. Now, if I click on that again, it's going to go through and we'll check all those sites and we'll see what that number changes to from 64. While that's happening, I just want to thank you for watching this tutorial. And if it was helpful, please do subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notifications of new tutorials and new live streams. A live stream Mondays at the 1800 UTC, a maintenance Monday live stream, how to maintain Joomla. And then on Tuesdays at 1800 UTC, a watch me work live stream where we check out something on Joomla. And oftentimes we're checking it out in a group in the chat or else we've got a guest that's showing us something on that live stream. So those are pretty popular. Uh, subscribe so you get notifications of those. By the way, the uh, Watch Me Work live stream is on Twitch on Tuesdays. So uh, just sign up and you'll uh, you'll figure out where to go. On Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash basic Juma. Now, so we got the ding there and look at that, 56. So we went from 64 to 56 so eight sites were updated and that leaves me a few that i have to check now after i'm done this tutorial i'm going to do the same thing with admin tools and i'm going to get that number down even lower but you don't have to stick around for that because you already have seen how to install one extension to multiple joomla sites using myjoomla.com in that example with akiba backup so again, thank you for your support of this channel. Please subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. And until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.